Hello, I'm back. You get a two for today because Jocelyn did the work for me for this one. <laughs> so this is a response to today's video. Jocelyn says, exactly as always. Thank you, Jocelyn. She goes on to say, also, I hate to repetitively recite radical thoughts here, but sometimes I think reiterating nonconformist concepts is helpful. So I want to repeat what many rad femmes have noticed and a concept that actually turned me into a radical when I started critically thinking about patriarchy. It's never rad femmes making these pseudo arguments and unsophisticated arguments regarding how to relate to men or if we should at all. It's always lib femmes and other pseudo feminists or non feminists who are not actually interested in the liberation of women and girls because they either have not conceptualized or are consciously choosing to suppress and ignore the realization that male supremacy is now the ruling religion of the planet and the greatest threat to female existence is biological males. The women who are against the argument of conserving female energy by not giving it to men are typically the individuals whose Sekhmet Shihao, love her, discusses when she examines the ideological slant of women who pretend to care about other women, but ultimately just want to go along to get along. Uh, she notes that she has an amazing video on this in response to the murder of Sarah Everard. I'll put that link in the description. They may care a little bit, but prefer the pleasures of straight privilege over the work of cultivating radical consciousness and doing something about what you know. Also, sometimes their ostensible care is just a performance because they don't want people to think they lack empathy. What if we were to say to these women, if we know that women collectively ending relationships with, with I'm sorry, if we know that women collectively ending relationships with men were the solution that would prevent the ongoing rape, murder, and trafficking of women and girls all over the world, would you be willing to operate according to that truth and stop giving energy to men? Their answer would be prevarications, avoidance, diversions, and excuse making for men and looking for other pseudo solutions because they are too male identified to just leave men alone. So the rapes and murders will continue. And she thanks us for this important video. Yeah, I mean, all of this. And you know what, uh, Jocelyn and everyone, I, I was always opposed to like repeating these concepts, but I really think that um, repeating them and repeating them in different ways on different days and hearing different women repeat them and expand upon them in their own ways. Jocelyn has an amazing mind, and I hope that you're reading comment sections just for for there's so many brilliant commenters out here. Um, it I thank you for your work, but um, I think it helps. I think it helps all of us like um, remain steadfast in in what we know and and fight off the constant gaslighting and the constant pressure to just put on some fucking lipstick and, and hook up with a man and do what they want you to do, right? Like, that is not, a, and, it, and it is the easy path. It's the easy path. But it's not the path that will lead to your, as a woman, as an individual woman's happiness long term. <laughs> How can I prove? How many more ways can we prove that? And it's definitely not the path that's going to lead to our liberation as we are heading into the heart of collapse here. Um, I I have a lot to say on on what women's actions need to be at this point in time, as opposed to other periods in history. I think we're in a very special spot. And I think that um, putting yourself under the thumb of a male, whether it's the male system of, say, a prison sec uh, sec system or an individual panopticon, male jailer, oh, I mean, husband type situation, those are um, really a precarious thing to do right now more than ever. And um, everything Jocelyn said, I couldn't and didn't say it better myself, but uh, thank you very much. Bye, everybody.